Hi there. Why does 48 volt PoE does not work with 24 volt passive PoE? Because they operate on the different voltage levels, since they built to operate on a specific voltage level. Now, passive use a fixed voltage of 24 volt, while the PoE switch or the injector use power between DC 48 volt to 54 volt. The voltage difference means the two systems are not compatible. And if you put the DC 24 volt passive PoE to power a standard PoE, it will not work, and also it might damage your device. Now it is essential to check your voltage requirement of the PoE equipment, and ensure it's compatible with the PoE switch or the injector. But can we mix up the 24 volt PoE to a DC 48 volt PoE? The answer is yes. And today we are going to talk about two different ways we can connect a 24 volt PoE access point to a 48 volt PoE switch. Now, before we jump to the video, please hit the like button because it really helps with our YouTube algorithm and make my life a whole lot easier. So here we are at the demonstration board, and this is the wireless access point that we're about to connect today, which it has the PoE port for DC 24 voltage and the DC 12 voltage as an external power input. Now, over this side, we have the 48 volt standard PoE switch, and it's already connected to our CAT6. Now, Let's try to connect it directly to our access point using the CAT6 from the switch. Let's plug it into the PoE port and see what happened. Yep, nothing happened because it's not working. That's why the lights are not on. In this case, we have to use the PoE splitter. Now, this is a PoE splitter. It can separate power and data. And it can also step down the power from DC 48 voltage to DC 12 voltage. Since our access point has DC 12 voltage input port, so it can take in the DC 12 voltage. Otherwise, it will not work also. Now, let me clear up the board a little bit and do the connection using the splitter together. So the board is all set up. Let's do the connection from the beginning. Let's do it together. Come on, let's connect the router with our standard PoE switch. And we are going to use a short patch to connect together like this. Just plug it in any port. And our CAT6 Ethernet cable, let's plug it in this port. All right, now this side is done. Let's move over to our SS point. Now, remember this is our PoE splitter. And we are going to connect the CAT6 into the splitter. And we have the power port and the data port. Let's plug in the power port first and put it into the 12 volt DC power input. And next, we are going to plug in the data port with the access point. Here we go. Now we can see the indicated lights are on and the access point is working already with the PoE splitter. Now, the PoE splitter is not only step down the voltage, also it will complete the power handshaking. Remember, our PoE switch did not send the power over to the access point at first because it will have to verify the, ver the edge device first, which is the access point. Now, if the access point didn't return the correct signal, that means our PoE switch or the PoE injector will not send the power at all. Now, you can set your PoE switch work with not only the passive DC 24 voltage PoE, but also a non-PoE device as long as it can accept DC 12 voltage power. You can refer to my another video about how to power the non-PoE router with the PoE splitter. So what if your device only accepts DC 24 volt PoE without external DC input port? 
Now, we are going to do the second method. With the second method, we will need a passive 24 volt to standard PoE converter, which is this one. And I already removed the splitter from the method one, so now let's do the method two together. Let's come over this side. Over there, we already set up with the PoE switch, and we are going to use the CAT6. Make sure you put in, there's a PoE in port and a PoE out port. Put in the PoE in port. Let's plug it in here. And let's put it here. And we are going to use the short patch to connect with PoE out port put to our access point. And plug in the PoE port. Let's take a look. Now, all the lights are on and it's now working the access point. The access point is all powered up. So I bet you already know the converter has completed the power handshake with the PoE switch. Now, the passive PoE converter returns the correct signal to the switch. And after receive power from the switch, it will convert the DC48 voltage into DC24 voltage passive PoE. And it is important to note this, passive PoE is not a standard technology. Different manufacturers will use different voltage level or pin configuration for their PoE equipment. Passive PoE converter puts 4 and 5 pairs as positive and six, 7 and 8 pairs for negative for DC 24 voltage. Now, also you have to ensure the passive PoE 24 voltage converter is compatible with the device that you want to power. One more thing that you might need to consider is the power budget. Now the passive PoE24 converter has a power budget to 14.4 watts maximum. The range is actually depends on the specific model or the manufacturer. Now, if, your, if the power budget is over, that means it will not work automatically. However, with method one, the power budget can reach up to 60 volts. Maximum depends on the splitter that you choose. And all the PoE has limit, has distance limitation. You can watch another video on how to get a long range 24 PoE up to 650 feet. And thank you for watching today. I'll see you next time.